Well, more vehicle break-ins are being reported across Lafayette, especially on the south side. News Channel 18's Liz Nichols spoke with a victim who claims he got a good look at the two men who broke into his car and got away with some cash. It just seemed a little odd. It, I've never seen anything like that before. Daniel Stanton said he got the surprise of his life when he and a friend pulled up at his house early Monday morning. My car door was open and the light was on. Daniel said the two men inside were surprised too. He claims they took off when they noticed someone was watching. I got out and my buddy uh, c turned his car on and he, they started walking away and he drove and sort of chased him and they just kind of ran away and ducked through the houses. Daniel's just one of many recent victims on the south side of Lafayette. According to Lafayette Police Lieutenant Bob Baumgartner, vehicle thefts are up 60% in the past two weeks. LPD has reports of 54 incidents, and most of them happened on the south side in neighborhoods like where Daniel lives. Through statistics and, and mapping and that, we can see where things are happening and where we ha we're having hot spots. And yeah, we're definitely going to increase patrols. Lieutenant Baumgartner says these crimes tend to be that of opportunity. If someone's walking by, They'll check to see if the door is unlocked, if it is, and their intent is to break into vehicles. They're going to they're gonna get into that vehicle if it's unlocked. If it's locked, they're, they're going to keep on walking. Now this may seem obvious, but there's a couple of things Lieutenant Baumgartner suggests you do to lower your chances of becoming a victim. Always keep your car locked and remove any valuables from inside. Because if it's more difficult for thieves to get in, the better the chance they'll give up and walk away. It's a... Uh... An eye opener, and you need to be more careful. Daniel is now out forty dollars thanks to these thieves, but he claims he got a good look as the two ran away down the street. It was two black males. Uh, one had dreadlocks. Daniel claims the two seemed young, around twenty years old. He hopes his description might give his south side neighbors something to watch out for until the persons responsible are caught by police. Reporting on the south side of Lafayette, Liz Nichols, News Channel 18.